Hey guys, Christian Review Cave here, and today I'm going to be giving to you guys a very different video. And honestly, I know I know I've kind of uploaded a, a lot of videos in the past 24 hours, which were manga reviews. But this isn't a manga review. This is more of a very a very needed discussion that I've been wanting to have for the last two months. But I never got around to doing it, and I had a lot of other videos to have, plan out, edit, and uh, you know. Right, so I didn't really have much of the time needed to make this discussion video. I was originally going to make it similar to my old, to all my other review and discussion videos, like I have right now, like my reviews on Doctor Stone, uh, Fire Force, my Digimon analysis, my Digimon Pokemon discussion video. I was, I was planning on making it a video similar to that. However, I think it'd be better if I just came out and just did my unfiltered thoughts through like a vlog format like I've been doing with my manga reviews. So I, here's what I th kind of have to say. And this has been said before, but I, need, I, I just want to get my own feelings out there, my own thoughts. And, and The Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath of the Gods is a disgrace of an anime adaptation for such an amazing manga series, especially since seasons one and two were honestly adapted very well. Especially, especially due to the big hiatus that seasons one and two had between each other, and once everyone was hoping for a season three, we were promised a season three, and then we got the movie that was on Netflix for us in the outside of Japan, and apparently after that the studios ended up getting changed, and Seven Daily Sins: Wrath of the Gods was basically made by Studio Dean who was responsible for the original Fates Day Night series, which wasn't that great, and Konosuba, which, while a funny series, it's not meant for action anime. It's not meant for an anime with so much action and detail to the monsters and characters and everything that goes into a fight scene for this series. So you can understand why me and other fans are insanely upset with all this, especially since the animation was just god-awful. It was... This, it, I, uh, it was, it was awful. It was just really awful. Even now, it's still, it's almost, I believe it's nearing its end at the point of me recording this video right now. I believe it's like on episode 20, I, it's 18 actually, it should be on episode 18. But I was watching it when it originally started episode by episode because I was like, okay, the studio changed. As long as they get the story right and it's not too bad and too stiff, I can get around it. There, I, I'd be fine with it. I mean, I was I was thinking it can't be as bad as One Punch Man season two, right? Right? And I was wrong. It was way worse. So the first six, first ten episodes, well, first nine episodes, I was okay with the flashback to the Holy War, with which pretty much spoiling the fact that Elizabeth was in fact a goddess in a past life. Then we get Gother's backstory, and then the reveal of Meliodas and Elizabeth's curse in the anime was done pretty well. The one thing that I didn't like was that there were a, a lot of stiff images and poor character designs in the background. Not to mention there was some lags in animation and weird, weird censorship of blood and gore. Even though Seven Deadly Sins was never really that gory, part some parts like if someone got stabbed in the eye, it was just blacked out instead of it just being red with blood dripping on their face. The blood would randomly be censored to white, which I believe is worse. And sometimes they wouldn't even know when to censor it the right way. Like, okay, someone gets cut up by a sword. The blood splatters white, but then once once that scene is done, they're covered in red blood. If you're going to censor something, at least be consistent. Not to mention, after that, I believe they stopped with the censoring of the blood, like slowly and surely. And the pacing, I believe, was decent for the season, due to the fact that every season, the last two seasons of The Seven Deadly Sins, has had a somewhat... Slow start. It took like a few couple of episodes for them to get into the initial plot, and then the pacing was decent, was good from there. But now I feel like it was a little too quickly compared to how it was with previous seasons. Now, while a lot of people want want to go ahead and blame Studio Dean for their horrible job on the Seven Deadly Sins, or blame A One Pictures for dropping the Seven Deadly Sins for apparently no reason. For all we know, it could have been just it could have been just because of like. Figurine sales, DVD sales, Blu-ray sales, or maybe just it didn't make much money off of the movie. 
which is, I believe, sad, because once you came out with that movie, and at the end of the season two, we were promised a season three. You don't go and change studios, like, right after you spent all this money making a, making a full-fledged movie with some of the best animation that the series has had, and have a pretty compelling one-off story that can be considered canon, but also can't. Similar to how My Hero Academia's got, got their movies adaptations, except theirs is more canon than Seven Daily Sins. So, what I want to say is this. From from what I can tell, from the time period from when the movie was finished to when it was released, season, season three was being somewhat scripted, you know, and storyboarded for animation, but something occurred that caused both the creator and the studio to, that caused the directors and everything to drop the Seven Deadly Sins anime from their studio and have it transferred over to another studio, which was Studio Dean. Thus, since the season was already starting to get like scripted and storyboarded based off of the ma off, off of like specific arcs of the manga that they were up to, it ended up having to be rushed. And they had like less than a, I believe they had yes less than a year to adapt that those portions of the manga into the anime as well as they could. And I was like. I, I, I was getting that feeling once we were reaching the battle with uh, Meliodas and Escanor, and it is prominent to the lack of budget that this series has had, and I really, really do believe that the lack of budget and time management was the, was the very thing that kind of screwed the series in the ass. Meliodas versus Escanor was the one fight that everybody that read the manga was looking forward to, and everybody that only watched the anime got it hyped up and spoiled that there was going to be a fight and later down the line, and everyone was disappointed due to how poorly it was portrayed. Hell, fan animations on YouTube, before this was even animated and brought into a season, uh, was honestly better than this. There was a fan animation better than this, and hell, even like a stop-motion, slightly moving manga panel um, uh, editing animation was uh, better than what we got. It was a monstrosity. It was just horrible. No one could have enjoyed what was seen. And having less to, having like roughly half a year to adapt an entire season of an anime with a somewhat low low budget than, they sh than you sh lower budget than you should for a season like that and with no real experience with action and with action anime like the Seven Deadly Sins, it's a recipe for disaster. And right now it's ah, the, a lot more of the animation errors are very more prominent, especially if you're looking for them now, because some of them are like very noticeable and not too noticeable. But then after seeing um, Ashkenor Meliodas fight and the aftermath of that with Meliodas's weird, really drawn body as he's getting up from laying down in the specific scene in the anime, you're, you, you do get to see why this shit was very, very poorly done, very poorly executed, and just an overall disappointment to all, disappointment to every single fan of this series. Honestly, there are ways that they can fix this. One, fan outcry could actually affect the production of the series, and maybe they can get their the anime transferred to a new studio if fan outcry is large enough. But I don't s truly see that happening. I hope I hope that's something because I, I hope A One Picture sticks it back, or who knows, maybe or it'd, it'd be great if like. Other great studios like David Productions, Studio, studio Ufotable, Studio Bones. Hell, I'd, I would take Toei Animation over Dean at this point. I mean, they're doing a good job with One Piece and even Boruto. If they put their minds to it, they can make the Seven Daily Sins great. But, but yeah, all those studios would be better than Studio Dean for this adaptation. Hell, even JC Staff, I think, would, would, would do a better job at this. But, anyway... Don't be too quick to blame Studio Dean for all the shit that the series has become. It was not it was not really their fault. They were given a series and a deadline right off the bat, and they had to work with what they had. They didn't have the proper they most likely didn't have the proper budget or time, as I specified, to fully animate the series as well as they should have. And not to mention they don't have experience with action anime in general, based off of what I could find online for all the anime that they've done. They're not very well versed in action anime, so that takes into account how the action scenes are lackluster, or in the case of Eskinor versus Meliodas, bull crap. 
And I know this sounds more like a rant than me trying to be like super calm and collected, but it just really pisses me off to see such a such an amazing manga series get a, get get given the shaft by some stupid studio decisions and get, having it be passed off from studio to studio. I mean, One Punch Man season two was better than this, and it started off poorly. I mean, at least when it came to the important fights, they animated it pretty well, close to close to how how the original's first season was in One Punch Man. Season season two wasn't that great, but at least when it came to the important stuff, they did it pretty well. Seven Deadly Sins, when they weren't in the fight scenes or in fast-paced action scenes, the, it looked pretty pretty damn appealing. For, for Well, for the most part. For Studio Change, it looked pretty pretty good for the character designs and everything. I mean, you could tell based off of the studios, the art style wasn't as was just very different. But another, but anyway, back to how things can be fixed. Another thing could be that after the season ends, and for the initial Blu-ray release, a lot of the stuff like sound and some a bunch of animation can be redone and fixed for the Blu-ray releases. Now, this most likely won't fix everything. Like, the Eskimo and all the other side will most likely still be a horrendous mess. But they can go back and fix a lot of their other animation errors over their, you know over everything else, try and fix whatever sound sound mismatches that are going on with that with the soundtrack placed in the actual anime, and hopefully it will be a much better show to watch, especially since, like, roughly half a year when, a, when the season is going to end, the next six months when it, after it ends. And Netflix will end up picking it up, and people who only watch it on Netflix will be insanely disappointed and will have very, very very worded videos or comments or reviews of the season saying that it's the worst season that they've seen yet. I mean, you can have a, a show with bad animation and it'd still be good, but the problem with Seven Deadly Sins getting a bad anime adaptation means that it probably won't get another season. And, and like I said, they could end up having a, a studio change if enough fan outcry is out there. But I see it's more likely that they'll try and fix things for the Blu-ray release. And once the season's over, they'll probably take enough time, most likely over a year, to fully animate the next few arcs of the series. Because those are very important arcs, and uh, there's a lot of fighting and action in what's most likely going to be adapted for the fourth official season of this anime, if it ever gets greenlit after this disgraceful monstrosity that is Wrath of the Gods. So if Studio, Studio Dean does keep this season, this series, there is a strong possibility that due to public and fan outcry of the bad job that they ended up doing due to poor management and budget, they could end up redrawing or fixing their animation errors with Blu-ray releases. That one then gets released on Netflix. It will be a lot more tolerable to people. And also, they could end up having more time to fully animate the next season, so it would look a lot better. And maybe they'll even outsource to other studios that have experience with action series to uh, help improve what's going to happen next. But yeah, those are my thoughts on The Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath of the Gods. I know this is like a very late discussion video for everything, especially since it's died down a bit, but I feel like a lot of the stuff needed to be said. I honestly really hope that Seven Deadly Sins goes back to its original studio due to public outcry, or Studio Dean takes takes more of an initiative to fix this series because this could be the series that will help make their studio more well known. And if they improve on their budget and animation, animation, the studio could be a could be a powerhouse if it really wants to be. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about this video. I'm sorry if I ranted a bit for a good for a good portion of this, but again, I I feel like all this needs to be said. Don't blame Studio Dean for the bad job they did. It was just bad time management and poor um, uh, poor budget. Not to mention having a studio drop a, a series that people loved right out of the blue. It, it hurts all of us fans. But anyway, don't let this video get you down. For all we know, there could still be hope for a 7 Deadly Sins anime. And the manga is currently ending. And I already made a video talking about how much I love the, manga, the, the current arcs of the manga that are going on right now. And the recent arcs. And I go into detail about it. So go go through my channel. Go watch that video. It's really... It, I really do like my reactions to it. But yeah, overall, I really hope you guys have an awesome day. 
and I'll see you next time. See ya.